What is going on? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I have the knife in hand, which can only mean one thing. I'm going to be popping open this box. I have the Adidas Agrovic Speed Ultra. So uh, something new. I know we just did this with the North Face uh, Summit Vective Pro 2, but um, yeah, I want to keep trying new things. Make sure that by the time we get to Bighorn and pacing Hard Rock and running Tushers that we have something uh, truly reliable underfoot. So I'm going to pop this baby open. Uh, let's take them for a little ride. Woo! All right. Let's do it to it. Okay. Moving stuff out of the way. So... Yeah, uh, this Agrovic Speed Ultra um, was really interested in this. I saw a guy who works at uh, Skyrun, uh, Skyrun Co. here locally, um, and he said he really liked the shoe. And so finally when it was able to, uh, you know, available for release, was able to purchase this, I did it as soon as I saw it. So it finally got here today, and yeah, I am excited to go through it. Get all this stuff out of the way, and boom! Look at what we have here. These are even brighter than they look in all the pictures. Wow. Let's take them out. Discard the box. And yeah. Take a look for yourself. So this is Adidas, uh, the really their ultra road shoe meant for trails. So um, yeah, obviously you got the Continental Trail Grip on the bottom. They use the same Light Strike Pro Foam. And that's the same one that they're using in all the road shoes. Um, this has a pretty significant stack height, which you know I'm not always a huge fan of, but I'm. Finding that with the shoes meant for trail that have these super foams, I kind of like it. It's super responsive. It doesn't feel super fat because you kind of crush a bunch of it with your own body weight. Um, and yeah, it just uh, really helps with the propulsion. Um, this shoe, it's got these energy blades or whatever they call the power rods or uh, something like that. Some sort of plastic polymer piece in there that's split into four pieces. Um, four in the forefoot, two in the heel, and yeah, that's going to help you like a carbon plate would on the road. And yeah, man, like I said, this color is popping. And now one thing I'm noticing right away is these laces. So these laces are really, really similar to the ones that are on the North Face Summit Vective Pro 2s. Uh, and I love that because when you tie these tight, um, they're staying where they are. There is absolutely no way that you're going to have to like tie a million knots to make sure your shoes don't come untied because uh, these laces are very grippy and do their job very well. Um, the shoe is super light. So usually I'm wearing the Solomon S-Lab Ultra 3 and the North Face Summit Vective Pro 2. Those shoes are both somewhere north of 10 ounces. Um, and this one is coming in just over 9 in my size, which is a men's 9. And yeah, so it's about an ounce lighter per foot, which, hey man, uh, do a hundred miler. How many steps is that? That's a lot of times that you're lifting that one extra ounce with each leg. So it, it does make a difference, especially when you're going a hundred miles, 127 miles, 200 miles, you know, uh, that long, long distance. You want to have light gear. You want to have light gear. You don't want to be carrying extra weight. Um, so yeah, a lot of things that I've seen people talk about is that the, the this shoe has an extreme rocker, right? So 
it's meant to really get you up on that forefoot, even if you're not really like a forefoot striker kind of runner. Um, and then it's that rocker on the downhill. So they did a bunch of research, and uh, apparently they found that where races are won and lost are on the downhill. That's where people are either making up the most time or wasting it. And so this rocker design is just really good for fast running downhill and uh, letting the shoe do a lot of the work for you, fortunately. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the races that I have coming up, especially Bighorn, it's three big climbs and three massive descents. Um, one of the descents and one of the climbs, I mean, you, it's an out and back, so you do what is a climb once, turns into a descent. It's like 13 miles up and 13 miles down. So um, a shoe like this, I think, would be a great design for courses that have long descents or long uphills, hard rock, campbird road. If you've been there, you know. Uh, this would probably be pretty sweet going up to Kroger's or coming down off of it. Um, and then obviously Bighorn with that big uphill. I mean, there's, there's some pretty significant climbs in a lot of these mountain races so uh, I really think this shoe is going to be a star up there um, it's got a semi gusseted tongue and it looks like an extremely breathable upper um, there's just a little bit of this welded protection here up at the top of the toe box so um, I'm thinking this rubber in front will protect you from most of the stuff and the things uh, that you're going to be kicking out there on the trails. Um, and yeah, I, I'm wearing them right now. I have the S-Lab Solomon Phantasms, the road shoe. It's got a very similar uh, collar to this. And so I think I'm going to really like that because I love the way that these feel. And, you know, I, I think it's going to be supportive enough for technical trail running. We'll find out quick. Um, a lot of the technical stuff is melting out as we speak, so we'll be getting up there soon. Um, but yeah, even this Saturday, I definitely plan on taking these things somewhere where they'll be getting tested for sure. So we'll bring you along for the ride on that. But uh, overall, yeah, first impressions out of the box, the Adidas Terex Agrovic Speed Ultra, the shoe with many names, uh, seems like it's going to be a good one, man. I'm excited. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get this out on the trails this Saturday. We will take them for a test drive and see how they feel. And, uh, yeah, if you've tried this shoe, leave a comment below. What do you think of it? And if you're looking to take it out for a spin, looking to spend that $230, um, man, let me know if you're going to pull the trigger or if this video helped you out at all. All right. Well, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.